Hi everyone, in the last video I showed you how to convert a 3D printer into a bioprinter and the necessary components to do so. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a bioink, which is what our extrusion based system will use to actually create biomaterials. So what we're going to be creating in this video is a cellulose acetate solution. Um, so the components that you'll need for that are cellulose uh, acetate um, I bought 500 grams of this from Sigma Aldrich, and you should be able to do the same as well. Um, and I also bought this uh, just acetone. Uh, it's 100% grade. The higher the grade, the better. Um, I bought this from a hardware store, and it should work fine. So the reason we're using cellulose acetate is because it's a commonly used bio ink, and it's also fairly easy to work with. So now I'll show you how to actually make the solution. So the first step is to get a scale and a bottle with a funnel of some sort and you're going to place the bottle on this scale and tear it so that will allow us to actually weigh the amount of cellulose acetate in grams. So we're going to start by inserting cellulose acetate through a spoon of some sort. You can just use the funnel and place it in there. We're going to get about four grams of cellulose acetate um, and you want to be as precise as you can uh, a little bit of error is fine. It should not influence your results too much. But you want to try and get as close to 4 grams as you can. So after you have about 4 grams of actual cellulose acetate, you can start putting the acetone solution in. So I am using a pipette, a bottle with a pipette. I found that that's just an easier way to put the actual acetone into the bottle as pouring is a little difficult with the funnel. But um, you want to get about 7 grams of actual acetone into this solution. Um, and the total, the total weight in grams of the solution should be 11 grams after you are finished. And if you want to make more solution, you should just follow the same ratio of 4 grams of cellulose acetate to 7 grams of acetone solution. After you've created the solution, you're going to want to mix together the cellulose acetate and the acetone. This will speed up the process of getting a proper viscosity bioink. And after you've done so, you're going to want to let it sit for an hour so it can reach that proper viscosity. All right, so after about an hour of waiting, this is our cellulose acetate solution. So here you can see the viscosity is almost similar to honey. It's very uh, viscous, as you can see. So the purpose of this video was just to show you how to make this biolink. In the next video, I plan on showing you how to actually print using it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.